All right, so I just recorded that uh, a uh, recoiling of my eye go, um, which I am really, really unhappy with. Um, this little flip video camera that I'm using is supposedly shooting in HD. I don't think it's shooting in HD. Uh, it would not focus. I don't know if the autofocus is broken on it or what the deal is, but I have a 1.3 ohm micro coil. Um, 10 watts on my Tesla. <sighs> I'm really disappointed about that. So yeah, after watching it, I was even more disappointed. Wow. I thought it was bad when I was recording it. Then I put it on the computer. So, we're going to start today. Hopefully you can see this with this horrible autofocus. The Vapor Room. Lemon Meringue. Um... This is a 12 milligram that they sent me. Um, I won it in an ECF contest. 50-50 PGVG. That's how I like my stuff. Uh, I'm just going to throw this back. You know what? Set this over here. My table is a bloody mess. Let's have a vape. It's been a really long couple of days. My son has not been sleeping. He's six months old and he's teething. And it is hell. It is hell. Anybody that said, oh, oh, you know. The baby's the greatest thing that's ever going to happen to you. Yeah, it is. But it sucks when he doesn't sleep. Let's have some vape. Cure the pain. Vape the pain away. Man, I don't know if I'm burning cotton or what's going on here. I'm going to push my coil down here a little bit. Um, vape's a little warm for me, personally. Alright, maybe that'll be a little bit better. I know some of you like a really warm vape. I like a warm vape, but not a hot vape. I don't want to burn my throat, you know? Um, and maybe the 12 milligram juice too. Uh, uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm just uh, feeling it a little bit more throat hit wise. It, it's a 50 50 PGVG, but it's really kicking my throat. A new asshole. I don't know. That was much better. Coil was sitting a little high. <laughs> the flavor is great. Um, the vapor is great. I am getting a very strange, hard throat hit. Give me two seconds here. I'm going to pull this cotton out. Maybe my cotton is a little oily for my fingers. I don't know. I'm going to pull my cotton out. I'm going to move this up so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Not really. I'm going to dry up and juice abuse this couple drops of juice I put in here. It's been a very frustrating day. Alright, so... Dry, cool down, thank you. All right, that's awesome. Son of a bitch, man. I cannot get this drill bit. Woo! Throwing it at my damn self. All right, it's not hot anymore. Maybe I can just put my finger there. Okay, maybe that'll look good. Go in, you son of a bitch. What the fuck?
Anyway, so this coil is really giving me a lot of trouble here. Um, basically what happened is the coil on the end got a little bit smaller. So now my 1 16th tiny, tiny little drill bit that you probably can't even see. Tiny drill bit. Won't fit through. Still fires. Works for me. And no hot spots. Even better. So we drop that down a little bit. Let's put a little bit of cotton in there. Quick fix this, hopefully. And uh, that looks good. And that looks good. Go in your hole. It is too long of a day. This is probably going to get cut out because I'm getting really pissed off here. Son of a bitch, man. There we go. Finally got it through. Pull my cotton through. Give it a little, a little twist here. Come on, you bitch. Through the hole. Thank you. Alright, now we're going to try to clip this bitch. These little clippers, not the best for cotton. I think it's pretty straightforward. They suck. Nail clippers do about the same for you. Ugh, oh, that was exhausting. Come here, screwdriver. Alright, so I'm just tucking this cotton underneath here. Nice little bow tie here. Bang. New cotton. Let's drip it up. Lemon meringue. 12 milligrams. 50-50. Uh, absorbed. Thank you. This is this has been the the most epic fan of a vape video. My lord, I probably look like hell too for all I know. I don't, I don't even know. It's exhausting. One, two, three. All right. So take your air hole, line it up with your coil. You know the whole process. Same thing we do every video here. Oh, now that I've made a mess out of my workspace, put this shit over here. Keep all this together here, because I'm going to wrap another coil probably in between here, because this one sucks. Yep, yeah, you know what? That's exactly what was wrong. Uh, the, <laughs> the coil was just too close to my faith. So... All right, well. So yeah, um, vapor room, lemon meringue, pretty straightforward. Um, when I smell it, give it another sniff here, a little sniff. I. The other thing that I don't really like about this bottle, and, and <laughs> again with this horrible camera, you probably won't be able to see it, of course. Um, I don't really like... Okay, now we're clear so I don't get any juice up my nose. I don't really like the drip tip that they have on here. It's very... Um, it's very difficult to get juice out of there. Um, the bottle is kind of flexy. I'm hoping maybe if I use it some more, the bottle will get a little bit more flexible. Um, but the tip in and of itself, um, it doesn't really suck the juice back down into the bottle when you're done. Um, there's a lot of residual juice in the top cap. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm just... I'm just nitpicking now. I'm sorry, Vapor Room. Nothing bad against you. Um, 
just a personal preference more than anything. I like the, the juice to suck out of the tip. Well, <laughs> juice suck out of the tip. Um, oh, what <laughs> I'm done. Crack myself up. Um, so, when I smell it, there it goes. Trying to, trying to squirt juice in my nose. Um, man. So yeah, um, when I smell it, I get a lot of like a graham crackery kind of overtone, uh, undertone in, in the in the flavor. I really smell the graham crackerness of it. Um, but when it vapes, it vapes exceedingly well. Um, I like lemon meringue pie. It's a good one. Uh, but when I smell it, I don't smell a lot of the lemon. When I vape it, on the other hand. There's a lot of lemon. So yeah, um, for me a lemon meringue, in my opinion, uh, has to have lemon, the, um, that caramelized meringue flavor, and, and the, some kind of crust flavor. This has all three, um, in very good proportion as well. Um, I get a lot of lemon, which you don't smell, which I expected to smell. Um, a very light, sweet, meringue uh, undertone after the lemon on the inhale. And on the exhale, you're left with a full-flavored lemon, meringue, and crust taste. It doesn't last long on the palate. It's not something that you vape and it sits there. The pineapple upside down that I did the review for, which YouTube may or may not have posted, um, because I was having issues with YouTube. I recorded the video five times, and each time I tried to upload it to YouTube from my laptop, it said that an error has occurred, and then it said processing for like four days. I gave up checking it. So it may be there, it may not. But the Pineapple Upside Down that I did um, from Mushroom Vapes, which used to be Blue Caterpillar Vapes, um, that flavor really hangs in your mouth. This lemon meringue does not already, and I just vaped a minute ago. I don't taste it. Um, that's the one downfall. Vapor production. Thumbs up. Flavor. Yeah, it's there. Um, is it a lingering flavor, which I personally prefer in my vapes? I like to be able to taste it after I vape it for a minute or two. Um, no, it's not. I, I don't really get a long-lasting flavor from this. I just got it in the mail. Maybe it needs to steep a little bit. Who knows? Um, I vaped maybe half a mil out of it. It's good. Overall, thumbs up. Lemon Meringue, The Vapor Room, 12 milligram, 50-50, thumbs up. Now that I've rambled on, I've rambled on, I'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching. Humphrey Bogart, like always, keep calm, vape on.